Lightning strikes again for Tampa Bay. Unbelievable. They sign another veteran depth player to a sweetheart of a deal. But before we jump into that, um, I just wanted to thank all my uh, subscribers for sticking around with me. I haven't been doing many videos lately, not just because it's slow in the hockey world, but because it's busy in my work world. I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I work in the film industry. There's, you know, peaks and valleys, highs and lows, and I'm in one of those busy periods right now. So I just haven't been around much to uh, shoot anything. And here I am, but I have not, I'm still here. <laughs> And I'm not going anywhere. Uh, trust me on that one. All right, so let's talk about uh, Patrick Maroon. Now, um, the Tampa Bay Lightning signed him for $900,000. Unbelievable! This is, I can hear you screaming from the other side of that uh, <laughs> screen because you wish your team would have signed Patrick Maroon, a beautiful depth player um, who just hits everything in sight, especially in the playoff, uh, come playoff time, and who signed him for next to nothing. And uh, yeah, I wish the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs would have signed this guy too for a, to a depth position. But in any case, uh, let's just talk about him as a player first. He's six foot three, 225 pounds. That's a truck racing down those wings because he plays both, um, coming after those defense and just just wearing them down game after game after game. Um, now, uh, yeah, I already mentioned he's making 900000 He's 31 years old now, so he's on the wrong side of 30, but still, he was quite effective last season. He also shoots left. Now, uh, speaking of last season, in 74 games with the Blues, he had 10 goals uh, and 28 points, and it was a minus 3. In the playoffs, however, he had, in 26 games, he had ba -ba -ba, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points, and was a minus Three. So that doesn't seem like uh, you know a lot of points or anything, but um, it's what he does without the puck as well that is so important. And I, I believe at least one of those goals was a game winner against Dallas, if I'm not mistaken, in Game Seven in that series last season, last playoffs. Season before that, he split between Edmonton and uh, New Jersey, where he also played uh, 74 games in total, had 17 goals. Um, and had 43 points um, in the season, in the 2017-18 season. Uh, then, um, of course, he spent time with Edmonton, um, a few years there, also Anaheim. Um, his biggest uh, goal-scoring season was with Edmonton, believe it or not, when he scored 27 goals, had 42 points. That's when the uh, last... Uh, the Oilers went to the playoffs where he played 13 goals, had uh, three goals, eight points, and was a plus two. So speaking of his salary, um, he uh, he made about $2 million while he was with the, the Oilers slash Devils um, in Anaheim between 2015 and 18. Uh, and then everything after that, uh, before that, it's was, it was just been like league minimum, like $575,000, $550,000. The guy has not made much over his career. Um, last year with the Blues, he made $1.75, uh, um, and he apparently also took that deal to be uh, not just to play for the Blues, but also to be um, play where he was from, because that's where he, he uh, was born, and because his son lives there. And he wanted to be around his son more, which makes me wonder a little bit, why not just sign another sweetheart deal like that with the Blues um, if your son's living in that state? I, I realize why he signed with Tampa, because it's another contender, and that's a valuable piece that they could use with a lot of playoff experience, and we can go on and on, I think I already have, about what he brings to a team. But why not just re-sign up with the Blues and take another whack at it? Um, especially seeing how his... His son is living uh, in that state. Maybe he thinks, he honestly thinks Tampa Bay has a better chance this time around. Um, maybe some of those players, you know how, when, I, I like, I know Pittsburgh won back-to-back -back cups, but it, it doesn't happen as much anymore because it takes a lot out of you playing all those extra games. Maybe he's thinking about that. You know, Blues played a lot of extra hockey. Tampa Bay didn't. Maybe they have a slight edge this 
this time around, especially seeing as how they signed a bunch of other players <laughs> that my team and your team probably would like for super cheap. Um, like, for instance, Curtis McElhinney, uh, who signed for, ba -ba 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 -ba, was it one point? Um, uh, I'm losing you here. I'm losing you. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, McElhinney, yeah, $1.3 million dollars. Kevin uh, Shattenkirk, um, who signed on defense uh, for, yeah, about 1.75. Oh, can you believe that? Unbelievable. Um, who am I forgetting? Luke Shen, who's, who's making the minimum, what is it, 700000 or something, who's probably going to be a seventh or eighth defenseman. But anyways, that's just, wow, shocking. I looked at um, line combinations uh, off a of daily face-off uh, when they estimate line combinations for next season. And he's not even thrown in uh, to Tampa Bay yet. So uh, we'll see how they utilize him. It's probably going to be at the most on the third line, I would guess, or even fourth line duties. Um, now, yeah, so Tampa Bay now has $8.47 million left in cap space, basically to sign Braden Point, who is their only unsigned guy right now. And that seems on the cheap, don't you think? If he were to sign for that much for that much right now, it'd be a bit of a deal. Um, I would think he might be worth closer to the way you know nine nine and a half million. Um, but and then if they gave all of that to him, you won't, you're not going to have any cap space left at all, just in case you need to tweak your team later. That's a little risky, but I mean their team is so stacked for the most part, anyways. Who cares, right? Unless uh, injuries come uh, turn their ugly head. But um, yeah, what else? What else am I missing here? Really, uh, we've talked about Maroon's past uh, and, and everything else. What do you think um, in terms? Of, what do you think of this deal for Tampa Bay? Obviously, it's it's a fantastic one. Another you know a signing like this. Tell me what you think, especially Tampa Bay fans. I would love to hear your comments down below. Where do you think he's going to play? Like where in the lineup? In the third line on the fourth line? And um, tell me if you wish your team would have signed this guy. For nine hundred thousand dollars, wow, shocking! Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you sign off. And yeah, I know I'm busy, but I'll see you soon.